Oh, wait, there you go. Can y'all hear me now? Hello, Ziva. It's kind of dark. Hold on. I'll just increase the lighting here. Still a little on the dark side, hey? Um, maybe I can increase the ISO a bit. Excuse the shaking. Autoworks, hello. How's it going, man? Thanks for joining. stop shaking man whoever comes out with like an anti-shake anti-vibration c-stand like they're gonna make so much money oh man can't see like some of my cool things these you see all the time but you know gotta stay on theme Yeah, the Pikachu is, uh, this is one of my most prized possessions, as I said in, I said in a previous stream, but it's, uh, tr literally translated as, like, um, on the hand of your palm Pikachu. It has these two electric things, where if you put your hand on it, the, the circuit loop completes and activates his cheeks and he says Pikachu Thank you. yeah and this I've had this since like 97 and the battery still works this is the exact same freaking battery since 1997 yeah it's amazing if you if you're old enough to remember tickle me Elmo this thing was that hot in Japan Sold out everywhere. Yeah. It's like really well made too. I don't know why the focus isn't working that well. Whoa, it's tripping out. What is your problem, man? Oh, the focus point is like not centered. That's strange. There you go, that's better. Yeah. Uh, Spirit Noodle, thanks for joining. Yes, my prize possession. <laughs> Gives me a smile every time, man. That. Uh, fragilities. Thanks for the follow. I guess before I um, unbox anything, maybe I can set up for the unboxing. Now I know a lot of you have already seen the Auto Works keycaps, but um, I have not had the opportunity to um, have one in my hand. So. I'm going to set up with my black on white set because uh, one of the keycaps is going to look sick on this tofu. So let's just remove these keycaps here. Should I just disconnect? Yeah, I don't want to press anything weird. That's why I had this. Um, that's why I have this wireless Durgod Fusion out. So that when I'm working on stuff, this is sort of a, yeah, it works perfectly. Hey, Dang Dynasty, what's up, man? How's it going? 
just taken off my Mitolet keycaps in preparation for the Auto Works um, keycap reveal. Well, it's not really a reveal. You all have already seen his keycaps. Ooh. Maybe I should bring the um, the Mitolet keycap tray. I'm kind of a stickler, and um, I want to keep everything as organized as possible. So hold on. How's everyone doing? I just finished a uh, day at work. I was excited to finish so that I can get this stream set up. There you go. Let's put all these back where they belong. I don't know if this is like OCD or if this is just preference. But I see a lot of people that just like take off their keycaps and they kind of just put it wherever. It's probably so that like people don't have to wait so much or be bored. But I'll, I'll try to do this quickly here. thinking of doing like a full black and white theme because I got some Duroc palms but they're not lubed or anything so I don't know I don't want to delay the stream any anymore because the main point of this stream is to uh, review the, the keycaps from Outer Works. yeah it's Ukiyo keys his keycaps is yeah they look so nice. They work so perfectly with this um, GMK Mitolet. You have like 10 JTK trays. Yeah, I've looked at JTK trays. I just, I've already spent so much on these. I just can't justify paying like 25 bucks additional. But I'm sure when I start getting Silverfish that um, that opinion will change really quickly. Oh yeah, the Takoyaki's charm is being printed. Wow. Thanks so much. I can't wait to see it. Um, Monsei Studio just finished putting in my Moto light caps. Moto light caps. I'm sorry, I don't I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Now I'm working late while chilling to the stream. Well thanks for thanks for joining in. I really appreciate that. Spirit Noodle, excited about that dang. Yeah, looks like uh, I might have to, I don't know, do a little unveiling stream for that too. I kind of like this whole like uh, unboxing while streaming thing. Like I used to make, as you know, like I, I used to make YouTube videos a little more frequently several, several months ago and uh, a lot of work goes into that and uh based on like my full-time schedule work schedule and stuff it just wasn't sustainable but i feel like streaming is a little more natural less scripted i prefer the more natural vibe so i'll probably be doing a lot more of these types of unveiling unboxing that kind of stuff on stream moving forward hey sal um, hey, can you show the takoyaki beside the Pikachu? Yeah, sure. Come on, there you go. Uh, it's from a company in Japan that makes like fake, um, fake foods. I think it's called Fake Food Japan or something. 
like literally just word for word, just fake food Japan. Um, yeah, I got this a long time ago when I like first started um, like this journey in my in this keyboard hobby. Man, the focus is so picky. I, I have to I have to change that later. Like after I got it too, the guy was like, hey, would you mind leaving a review? And I actually forgot to respond to that. Whoops. But hey, at least I'm potentially giving him more sales right now. Um, I think this goes here. Zivai looks cool. Yeah. Like, this is the same company that makes, like, if you've ever been to Japan, or if you've um, seen, like, like been to, like, a, a ramen place, they tend to have, like, the fake food displays outside that look pretty realistic, I'd say. Um, that's what his company basically does. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. I think it's some American guy who like lives in Japan permanently and just decided to take over business. I think maybe his wife's Japanese and her father like owned this and he decided to take it over or something. Something like that. I don't remember, but yeah, pretty nice guy. Pretty nice guy. Um, Spirit Noodle, I've been debating if I should do YouTube or Twitch. I work full time too. Not sure if I could put all the work into editing vids. Yeah, I think um, you just got to do what works best for you, right? I think it never hurts to try. Um, you learn a lot of valuable skills. Um, granted, if you don't practice it a, a lot, you'll probably lose it. Um, but I think just like even knowing the work and effort that goes into it you can sort of appreciate guys like hippio tech um you know switch and click those people who are like full-time more or less on youtube like how much work actually goes into that kind of stuff um it's fun though it's so much fun you know um but it's definitely a lot of work and there's a lot of experimentation too some you know, like sometimes you don't know what works um, until you actually do it and put in the work and try different types of videos like if you go on my youtube channel like i have some kind of oddball videos like a ps5 review you know like a parody video of like you know of a mechanical keyboard enthusiast take on like the ps5 controller switches and yeah kind of bizarre but that's kind of like what I wanted to do is just, just have a little bit of creative freedom um, you know those didn't get a lot of views but I still had a lot of fun making them but if you plan to make money off of it if you plan to go full-time at some point like those are things you have to look at a little more closely and go hmm is this worth my time you know you're really gonna have to make those judgment calls then but yeah, I know I've been ranting for a bit, but um, I hope I hope that perspective helps. A eighty six would be kind of cool to have a fake bowl of tasty looking ramen on our desk. Yeah, I think so too. You know, and that that's kind of why I bought this is like it adds a I don't know a unique perspective of my culture something that's like not really publicized a lot to the outside world you know it's one of those things like if you go to japan it's like everywhere and you know it's like japanese but it's not necessarily something that's popular outside and you know japan's really good with like they make like really cool ceramic things um like this this dish right here is japanese made made in japan ceramic you might see it in like sushi restaurants and stuff like that, but I thought it'd be a really nice 
place to put like all my tools just under this um, I have a little shelf here that you can't really see it's off camera but. Uh, Monza studio I thought about streaming too I really want to do it but I don't have the space to make a functional setup the goal is to do art and keyboard streams soon though yeah you know I I've been planning to do I've been planning to do streams for quite some time even before like my first stream um, was like two weeks ago now um, I probably could have done it way sooner but I have this like perfectionist mentality um, and that kind of sometimes holds you back from actually getting started which is what matters the most you know um, so as long as there can be a balance, like, of course you want to have like a good quality setup, good quality streams and stuff, but at some point you got to start, right? Like audio I know is really important. So I kind of invested in that. And then I know camera is really important. So I, and you know, my YouTube videos, all my YouTube videos you see, I was using my friend's uh, camera and I'm like, okay, well I need to, at this point I, I kind of need to get my own. So. Okay, so finally, these are all off. I can put them away. Um, spear noodle, that's, that's a great idea, dude. I need to come hang out more often. Yeah, that. I'm always down to like talk and maybe I talk too much. Uh, but if you're if you're okay with people that are really talkative, I'm uh, come join. Uh, I think it's like this, right? Heck yeah, auto works. I guess the uh, correct pronunciation is auto works, right? Because you have that line above the a. That's the extension. It's the Japanese way of saying art. Ato. Uh, Ziva, your space is so organized. Thank you. I'm a bit of a clean freak. Um, yeah, I, I try to look as presentable as possible. Yes, the packaging is awesome. Let me just put these. Yukio keys, keycaps to the side. I'm just gonna tease them right here. I think there's like a bigger delete key. Oh, not here. I think this one. No. Don't need you. Oh, shit. I forget. I think it was delete home page down. I'll figure it out later. I think it's page down or page up. Page down. And arrow keys. Uh that packaging? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Uh hey Sal, are you Japanese? Yes. I am I see this <laughs> Am I first generation or am I second generation? Because my parents emigrated here from Japan in the 70s. Um, my dad keeps saying he's like first generation. He always wants to be number one. So he's like, you're second generation. Like, All right, <laughs> whatever makes you happy, dad. Nokibo, thanks for the lurk. board is going to look so clean yeah Monse. i've actually had this black on white for 
a little bit of time now. Um, it's gonna look really nice. It's already looking. It's already looking pretty good already. Okay. First, sorry, Dad. <laughs> yeah. I know like the sign of a well-used GMK set is like the um, the shininess of it that it's well used but I don't know I like I like the matte texture and matte look have hydrate commands yet so I need to remember to do that myself I think we're pretty close to hitting affiliate though I think I've hit all of the other parameters for getting affiliate um, have at least 50 followers stream at least eight hours hey Sal thanks for the thanks for the follow Good, I want to give you bits. Ah, uh, thank you, Monse. Really appreciate it. Even just, you know, you guys being here means so much to me. Especially because I know there's so many. I think before I started streaming, I'm like, is anybody going to come? Because there's so many great streamers right now. Um, already streaming. Shift key. Where is it? This one. I hate I hate this shift key. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. It's just such a weird shape. That not not all keycap sets have. Okay, control. Code. Alt. Spacebar. Ooh, maybe I can um I have my Zen pond. Hold on, hold on. Actually I don't know if I should. We want we want the main feature to be the out of works keycap. Maybe I'll maybe I'll keep it. Just the plain space bar for now. Uh, Monster Studio, you have your own unique flavor that defines you from others I've seen. That makes you so much. Thank you so much. That's that's so kind. Yeah, the, the only thing that I can say is that I... I try to just stay, you know, myself. Um, I don't apologize for who I am, what I... How I am, like... You know, I'm not gonna try to be somebody else. Cause you gotta, you gotta think about sustainability, right? Like if you play a character or an archetype or something like that, like you basically have to keep that up. And if you enjoy playing that character and that's fine. And it's another question of if you want other people to think that's who you really are or not. Or maybe you want to create that mystery and that's what makes people intrigued and like follow you and stuff. I don't know. There's a huge strategy around it. I. I can't be bothered. Uh, 
Uh, hey Sal, I just got into the keyboard hobby and you're my first streamer I've watched. Hey, that means a lot. I hope I hope I'm a good representative of this community. Information overload so far. Well, if you have any questions, I can I can try to answer it. I'm I am by no means a an expert, but uh, sorry, I think I think this is yes, Alt and then Control. I don't know. I was like pausing there. Okay. All right. We're good. Oh, maybe I should have put the white enter. White enter or no. What do y'all think? Nogali777. Hey, man. What's going on? Love from Toronto represent. J&J. Nukuka. I can, I can read it. I forget what it means. White enter? Okay. J and J. Mulayo. J. Nukuka? 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 Maybe I should put it in translator. I like it, but it looks so lonely. Yeah. Well, the... The escape key, there is also a white escape key for it, but uh, it's right here, but we're going to be putting one of the keycaps here. So, I mean, we could put them on the delete key. I'll, I'll just leave it here for now. Okay. Um, so there we have it. E white tofu 65 with, uh, GMK white on black. This looks really nice. I love the purple, but just something about monochrome just uh, makes it look different. It hits different. Um, this has O ring mod, FR4 plate. Um, what else? Oh yeah, Boba U4Ts. I haven't modded the U4, uh, U4Ts yet, but they are pretty damn good stock. <clears throat> I feel my voice breaking. Toget PSDI, hey. Thanks for joining in. All right. Y'all ready to for me to start unboxing these things? Maybe I should zoom into the uh, desk a bit more. Hold on. going on okay let's put this off to the side oh hey Sal what keyboard is this this is the KBD fans tofu 65 with a E white case and then um, like a hot swap rev v2 PCB something like that I bought I put all those together if you're confused you can always email them and they'll help you out picking the right components so that you won't you know buy something get it shipped from Taiwan or China and kind of be screwed tofu is hot swap yeah you can buy a hot swap PCB All right, is, is, auto, is auto works here? Auto works. Oh, that opened. <laughs> All right. Uh, would you like to do the honors and uh, tell me which one I should open first? This cord's like in the way. Yeah, top tier packaging for sure. Which side? Left or right? Left? Okay. Let's put this here. Actually, I'm going to put in a better lit spot here. 
Hey. Key Zero. What's up, man? Actually, did I just mix them? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this was the left one, right? <laughs> I got distracted. You could ship them to PR, thanks. Where's PR? I don't know all my US states. I think this was the left one. Okay. All right, you all ready? Uh, yeah, oh my God, they have engraved business cards. Yeah, yeah, this is the business card. It's wooden, laser engraved. sure you're following this guy on IG at autoworks underscore keycaps this guy has grown so much in a short period of time and uh, uh, well deserved it's no wonder when you make such amazing uh, keycaps like this and I think when he first started out he said like one one of 25 cap series so he already has 25 keycaps in his mind um, that he's going to produce and he's o he's only released two and i think that his third one here is in the works i think so yeah many more to come if you haven't won any of his raffles yet you'll have a lot of opportunities all right enough of that Let's open this up. Uh, I work for a laser engraving company, so I have mad respect. All right. Ooh. Look at that. Opens up perfectly. You know, no issues whatsoever. Oh, it's got a little magnet here to keep it in place. It's, uh, it's kind of kind of dug in though it's probably why it opened up uh, actually no it works it still works pretty well you see that all right enough of that get this see how close i can get before it starts getting blurry oh that's pretty good that's pretty good okay come on there you go look at that it's got a little scroll there it looks um, like an aged scroll, as if you're like uncovering it for the first time in centuries. And that keycap, wow. That looks awesome. So let's, let's take out the scroll. Look at that, look at that detail. Are the edges burnt just to give it that look? I think they are. Oh yeah, they are burnt. Look at that. I got some uh, ashes on my finger. That's that's pretty cool. I'm not mad. All right, let's open up this scroll here. Oh. Okay. Let's open this up. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Is this like coffee stained paper or something? I know that, I know these techniques. I, I took art class in grade six. <laughs> or no, it was like grade eight or nine, something like that. Or tea, yep. Yeah, it is really nice. Okay, let's uh, take a read. Um, so this guy's name is Imagawa Yoshimoto. Yes, story time. Okay. Um, should I turn off the music? Are you good with the music? Maybe I could turn it down a bit. Turn it down a bit. All right, 
April 2nd, 1519 to June 12th, 1560 was a preeminent daimyo uh, feudal lord in the Sengoku period of Japan. Based in Sugura province, he was one of the three daimyos that dominated the Tokaido region. Yoshimoto was born in 1519, the third son of Imaga Ujichika of the Imagawa clan, which claimed descent from Emperor Seiwa, 850 to 880. Uh, as he was not, here, maybe I'll hold it up so you guys can read along with me. Um, where was I? Ah, as he was not the eldest son, he was not an heir to his father's lordship. As a result, uh, the young boy was sent to a temple and his older brother Ujiteru died suddenly unleashing successional disputes. I think my mic needs to be a bit closer. Um, his elder half-brother, Genko Etan, tried to seize, seize the lordship, but the clan split into two factions. Yoshimoto's faction argued he was the rightful heir because Yoshimoto's mother, Jukeini, was the consort of Ujichika. Genko Etan's faction disputed this based on Genko's seniority. Oh, seniority was everything back in the day. It still kind of is in Asian culture. And that his mother was the member of the Kushima family. Oh, sorry. However, the Genko faction was eliminated in battle shortly after. Uh, Yoshimoto at this point succeeded the clan. In the summer of 1560, after forming a three-way alliance with the Takeda and the Hojo, Yoshimoto headed out to the capital with Matsudaira Motoyasu, later known as Tokugawa Ieyasu. Ooh, that was a big name, dude. Of uh, Mikawa in the vanguard. Despite having a strong force of 25,000 men, Yoshimoto deliberately announced that he had 40,000 troops. Big brain. While this statement put fear in many factions, Oda Nobunaga of Owari province saw through it. Yeah, Nobunaga was like next level intellectual um, samurai. Uh, with many victories, Yoshimoto's army was letting its guard down, celebrating with song and sake. A surprise attack by the Oda army of 3,000 men following a downpour left Yoshimoto's army in complete disorder. Two Oda samurai, Mori Shinsuke and Hattori Koheita, ambushed the Imagawa and he died that night while marching to Kyoto to become shogun. He was killed in the village of Dengakuhazama in Okehazama by Oda Nobunaga in front of the entire village. Uh, Yoshimoto is buried at Daiseiji, a temple in the city of Toyokawa. Hey man, my dad's from that area. My dad is from that area, man. That's, <laughs> that's really sick. I'm sure if I mentioned this guy's name, uh, Imagawa Yoshimoto, right? Yeah, he'll be like, yeah, I know this guy. Well, not know him, but, you know, heard of this guy. Uh, Monse Studio, you're on point. Out of works. Lots of love goes into your work. Yeah, for sure. Jeff, what's up, man? Uh, I wish I had an auto works geek. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. <laughs> I can't read it like you, though. I can't I can't read these these scrolls like you can. I have chills, spirit noodle, yeah. Yeah, like this is real history. These are real people. And I think that's what uh that's what makes um these products so cool. Is it's not just like not just like inspired by. It's like these are actual people in history. Um so yeah, I think it's great. Kizer Mech loving auto keycaps, yeah man. For sure, for sure. All right, do y'all want um, do y'all want me to put this keycap on the keyboard first, or do you want to move on to the next one? So this is a second keycap. This first one is uh, is much more samurai colors. Especially if you know GMK, uh, the Red Sun's GMK Samurai set. Yeah, definitely follow Out of Works, guys. He's he's such a nice guy, hardworking. 
um, built this business from the ground up. You know, I, um, I've known him basically since he started his account and, you know, I've tried to help in my own way by uh, sharing his stuff in the early days um, because he has a great looking product and, you know, he delivered on the great looking product. So like, there's literally no reason to, to bash this man. Each keycap is like a tribute to history. Yeah. Hold on. I need to hydrate. I can't, I can't wait to get the hydrate button. Or am I going to regret it? Cause y'all going to drown me. All right. So should I move on to the, um, should I move on to the next keycap or should, do you want me to put on this keycap right now? Hey, Sal, dad reveal one. Sorry, I didn't read that uh, earlier. Uh, he lives in a completely different part of uh, the, um, like in a different city. So I don't know, maybe one day. Spirit, Monse, Ziva, next one. All right, well, that's, that's enough for me to move on to the next one. All right, so same deal. Same awesome box. This is bamboo. It's like even even the box is on theme, Japanese. Oh, this magnet's a bit stronger. <laughs> All right. Damn. Yeah, hundred percent bamboo. Yep. Yeah, branding, packaging, it's perfectly on point. All right. So same deal. Over Gaiman waves pancake to Takoyakis and bows to Adwords. Hey man, how's it going? You remember the pancakes thing, huh? Uh, Adwords, how long does each cap take? I mean, it's hand painted, so it must take a while. That is some clean packaging, indeed. All right, let's take a read here. So this guy's name is Sanada Yukimura. The last Sengoku hero, August 9th, 1567, June 3rd, 1615. So on June 3rd, 1615, at the Battle of Tennoji, after fleeing back to Osaka Castle, Sanada Yukimura found the massive Tokugawa force of nearly 150,000 moving into positions in order to make their final assault on the castle. Uh, Yukimura's troops charged down from Chasuyama and fought with desperate abandon with Mori Katsunaga's fleet. At this point, Matsudaira's line began to crumble. Yukimura dispatched his son, Sanada Daisuke, back to the castle to urge Hideori to stand with them and fight. But Hideori was too late. As the fighting raged around him, the exhausted Yukimura collapsed on a camp stool. According to legend, Yukimura's last words were, who dares to take my head? Nishio Nizaimon, a Tokugawa samurai, recognized Yukimura and charged forward, issuing a challenge. Unable to muster the strength to fight, Yukimura acknowledged who he was and took off his helmet. Seconds later, his life came to an abrupt end. The spot where Sanada Yukimura was killed is in Yasui. His shrine is located to the west of Shitennoji Temple in Osaka, and his grave is in Zenmyosho in In. Zenmyosho In in Ueda. Yo! My mom's from the Osaka area. <laughs> what is that coincidence, man? That's crazy. That's actually crazy, dude. Like, <laughs> this guy's from the Toyokawa area. That's where my dad was born. This guy is in the Osaka area where my mom was born. <laughs> what the heck? 
dude. That's something. That's something. Um. Wow. Good old chap TV. Thank you for the follow. Um, Osaka is my favorite Japanese city. That's a good city to, to call your favorite. I mean, their food, their people are very distinct. It's the birthplace of uh, foods like takoyaki, okonomiyaki, I believe, like yakisoba also. Hey, finally caught your stream. Thanks for joining. I, I really appreciate it. Um, Monza Studio. Wow, Cap, that's inspired from the region of your mom and your other of your father. So cool. Makes them extra special. Yeah. And hold on. I, I have something. Speaking of Osaka Castle. One second. I have this token, which my grandma bought me a long time ago when I visited Osaka Castle. And I kept it in its wrapper ever since I got it. That kanji is Osaka, so it's Osaka. And Jo, Osaka Jo, is the kanji for castle. Pretty cool stuff, man. Oh right, I never I never like took them out of the, the keycaps out. Okay. So this is Imaga Yoshimoto. Ooh. Look at the scales on the side. See that level of detail is amazing. You know, a lot of times you see keycaps made um the sides are kind of um, not given as much attention, which is fair because, you know, once you put it on the keyboard, um, the sides aren't really going to show, right? But look at that. He painted the corners like that, the lines there, the hairs uh, coming out of the kabuto, the samurai helmet, still flow all the way to the back. That's really cool. I love that. Um, looks like a dragon. Could be a dragon or like a, a wolf lion hybrid that the Japanese love to use on his head. Uh, they're called shishi in Japanese. Uh, Spirit Noodle, I have a stamp I got from a gacha machine. Nice. Uh, Monza Studio, it's a work of art, a literal sculpture. Yeah. This is... This is something. Oh, yes, the bottom. Very interesting. Um, usually, it's like a, a circle stem. But the top, and the north and south... Uh, parts are open. Maybe this is a little more resistant to like stretching because I know some switches kind of stretch out the keycap um, stem, the, the female portion a bit. So maybe this prevents, prevents that from happening. Shinoda Keys, hey. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for, thanks for joining in. How's it going? Um, all right, let's take a look at the Yukimura. Looking beautiful as always. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. There's, there's something about this guy that looks crazy. Look at this. 
Look at this guy. Gold accents. This must have taken a long time to paint. Again, the accents on the on the sides. Just wow. This looks amazing. Is that a little mustache on the face plate? Yeah, you see that? And the horns make him look like a demon. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ghosts of Tsushima. I could totally see um, Jin Sakai wearing this helmet and face mask. It looks like deer antlers. I think it's deer antlers on, on here. Which actually the Sakai clan in the game uses. So, yeah. Monza Studio, weird question. How heavy are the caps? Um, that's not a weird question at all. They're, they're actually a little, a lot lighter than I thought they would be. Not a lot lighter, but they are very light. Um, Otto, if you're still here, um, can you explain the ma material? Let me get a, a weight. Oh, actually, no, I have one. A measure. Right here. I barely ever use it, so I forget it's here. Okay. So. 0.56 grams. The Yoshimoto one. The Yukimura one is, I think, I'm going to guess it's a bit heavier. <sighs> Who called it? 0.61 grams. Um, in terms of units, it's uh, 0 0.022 ounces. And the uh, other one, 0 0.195, might as well just call it 0 0.02. Can you show the weight of regular keycap? Yes, actually, great, great call. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna go with grams just for continuity. So, okay, 0 0.55, 0 0.61. Um, a regular keycap. Where's that escape key? Yes. So GMK row one keycap. 0 0.40. So it's a bit heavier than that, but honestly, like when, when I pick it up, I, I can't tell too much of a difference. That being said, I don't know how I felt this one was heavier <laughs> than this one. So 0 0.41 grams or 0 0.014 ounces. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. The weight could probably be attributed to the paint that was used. Um, it seems like a little more filled in than a regular GMK cap would. Uh, it's not as thick, I don't think. Over Gaiman, beg your pardon, but will the keycap thickness also affect the weight? Yes, for sure. Yeah. And the thickness will also affect light bleed, of course. Okay. Um... So I actually was going to buy GMK Samurai just for this keycap, but I don't have it yet. But it's it's available for ordering on drop now, so I might just order that just so this guy has a home. And who doesn't have GMK Samurai, right? Um, I think 
believe this guy was this one, yeah. Okay. Sorry, string. I'm too lazy to tie you back up. Oh, just being it. Okay. Awesome. Okay. This guy is going to go on my keyboard. Thank you kindly. Yeah, no problem. Um, oh yes, and, and most importantly, the thickness of a keycap will affect the sound profile. Um, I think the GMK ones are 1.4 or 5 millimeters. So yeah, 1.5, pretty good thickness. But, you know, if you encounter 1.3, 1.2, that's when you start um, seeing keycaps that feel very cheap. Like, they don't feel like there's no weight to it when you... Like, there's barely any weight to this. Think about even less weight than that. And then when you put it on, and if you like RGB, you, you know, you turn on the RGB and then lights start bleeding from, like, the side of the keyboard, which just doesn't make it look very nice. Um, all right, so where do you guys think I should put this guy? Should I put him in the escape to replace the escape key? Or should I put it here to replace the delete key? or somewhere else. That's just weird. Unless I have like a full row of artisans. Okay, so we have one vote for the escape key. Yeah, I think the escape key looks pretty good. And if we want to replace the escape key with this white one, like this, maybe we can put him here. Thoughts, thoughts. It's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, that way, I do agree with you that it balances a bit better, hey? You love this look? Function key? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of think it should be at the top right or the top left. Hey, Sal, you vote for this look, white escape key and um, the keycap on the delete key. Uh, Ziva, you said this was the KBD Tofu 65. Yes, yes. Hey, Otto, wouldn't Jeff be proud? If only he was still here. Yeah, I think I like this. The white escape and the white enter kind of balance out. Um, if this if this guy, Yoshimoto, was more white than black, if like if the colors were reversed, maybe he could have been here. But I think he's perfectly he looks perfectly fine right here. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys, for the input. So we'll place that. Goodbye. Delete key. I want to make sure the delete key sits a bit higher than the rest of these guys. I think there was shorter um, home key and stuff like that. We'll put this guy on the delete key and see See how he sits. <laughs> OK, 
Hey, Sal. Wait, I just noticed the taco on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Attention to detail. Damn it. One thing I got to say with this keyboard is the tolerance on the corners and the top and stuff like that is so tight. So you have to be very careful if you don't want to scratch up the, the case. All right, let's put this guy here. Okay. A plus plus detail. Yeah, these keycaps, man. That would be a sick R2 version inverted color scheme. Yeah, there's an idea, Otto. There you go. So there's the height. It's about, it's a bit taller. Although where I'm gonna press him is like here, right? So maybe I should have a slightly lower home key if I do have one. Let's take a look. I don't know if I do. It's not a big deal, but. Mm, no, I don't see it. That's okay. Very, very minor. Yeah, it's fine. Ringo, hey, how's it going? So let me let me move this. Let me zoom out again. Shakiness. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, and that's what I was going to do. I was going to potentially put the Zen Pond space bar on here. Yeah, this looks so nice. What a lovely sight, a matching black and white setup. Yeah, that's why, that's why I pulled out this desk mat right here. And then that matches perfectly with this Calamity Cables straight cable. Or this other one right here. This half black, half white cable. Put this guy away. It's ruining the look right now. Actually, I might need this still. All the cables. Yeah, I kind of became a cable guy, kind of, after a certain incident. Ooh, I like it. All right, let's see how this looks with this Zen Pond. Looks fondly at passing Durgod, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy I got it. And I'm really glad I didn't run into any issues with it. I know some people did, so. I'll just put this guy in the corner. Okay, so this is the Zen Pond keycap. I took some photos and posted it on IG. I'm sure you, as you may have seen. The white is kind of like a cream white, not like completely white. So I don't know how it'll look. I'm sure it'll look fine. Uh, which is your preferred cable, straight or coil aviator? Uh, Monse, I think um, I like straight. It's just a little more versatile, in my opinion. But there's nothing wrong with coiled. Yes, that's what it's called. The Ghost Asagi colorway for the Zen Pond 3 uh, keycaps by Jelly Keys. Hey, Sal, imagine the eyes have holes and glows with the RGB. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, actually. All right. Let's try this out. Of course, the switch comes out, too. It's the one downside with hot swap, but... I don't know. I personally feel the upsides kind of outweigh it, especially if you're testing a lot of different keycaps and stuff like that. All right. 
put this bad boy on here. Jelly Keys hit it out of the park. Jelly Key, sorry, hit it out of the park with this. Ooh, sorry, we're still we're still shilling for Out of Works here. So just disconnect this again. This looks pretty good, guys. Not gonna lie. It all goes well together. Yeah, salivates under blanket. <laughs> I think it looks looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I think this might be my setup for a while. Again, I could have gotten Duroc Palms. I, I do have Duroc Palms, but I didn't want to spend any more time on the stream than I had to. Okay, well, I think that's it. That's it for this stream. It's kind of a shorter stream. And um, as a newer streamer, in my last stream, I had like 30 or 38 people watching, and I totally forgot to raid somebody. I, was, I felt so bad because like people raid me all the time. It's just... I still have to get into the mindset that I'm like kind of a part of that community now. So I better start doing the same things, you know, that, that makes us a tight knit community. And I, I felt so bad. Um, so let's take a look at who's, who's up. I think Otto is actually streaming himself. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Yes, he is live. Let's let's raid. Let's raid this guy. Um, I know how to do this. Raid. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next stream. And th yeah, thanks for joining. What's going on? <laughs> 